Hi everybody, I'm back again with Smith, episode number four. Let's Don't forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up button, leave a comment at the bottom. Let's get to it. Also, my voice is a little messed up because I've been sick. That's the reason why this video is coming out so late. But I'm going to still do it. I'm going to still try to get it out as fast as I can. All right, let's get to the number four episode. Okay, this episode starts off with um, Bridget at the park still playing basketball by herself and everything. And she's trying to, she's acting like she's in a, a, a game with somebody. And, and this is, I guess this is the championship game. This is the championship shot. If she make it, then that means she could, she's ready for the NWA. So she goes up, try to get the shot, look back, and notice some guys is stealing her stuff. So she try to run after them to get her stuff, and they climb the top, this huge tall fence. She's trying to climb this tall fence. She gets stuck. I guess she's scared of heights or something. I don't know. But she gets stuck, and she can't do it. So the guys get away. But while she's standing up there on the fence screaming for help, two other little kids come in and steal her shoes off her feet. It's the next day, and her and Elise is at the grocery the store. Kids walk in, like six guys walk in. She turned around and she asked them, you know, were y'all at the park last night? They don't answer, they just kind of laugh at her. So then she goes outside and she tell Elise, you know, I think those are the guys that stole my shoes. So Elise ready. You know, she like, well, let's, you know, let's go get them. Let's go get your shoes back. So Bridget is like, you know what? We, we we gonna fight them? We gonna beat them up or something? And Elise is basically saying, yeah, don't you want your shoes? So basically, she see that Bridget isn't down for, you know, the bang bang. So, well, at least not that kind of bang bang. <laughs> so instead, um, Elise just tell her, you know, I'll, I'll buy you another pair. Now, Elise is talking about her allowance. The only way that she could get her money from her father is by going to church. She have a problem with him. She, she feels like her father has the money. Why do I have to go to church in order to get the money? Why can't you just give me the money? You know, he he's paying, I guess he's gonna give her money. As long as she stay in school and college, he's gonna keep giving her money, but she have a big problem with that. She don't wanna go to church. So Bridget is saying, you know, um, I'll go to church. I'll go to anybody's church. You know, if you're going to pay me to go to church, I'll go. So at least tell her, okay, well, if you go to church with me Sunday, then I'll give you half my allowance. So she said, okay, I'll go. Bridget, she really don't believe in all that. So now Bridget and Elise finally make it to the park to pick up Larry and Nelson and Ralphie is there. And um, Nelson asks her, are you okay? I heard you got mugged. And Ralphie's all like, you know, why did you go to the park that late anyway? So she says, you know, I got inspired. And <laughs> this buff dude walks up with this flyer, Fun Muscle Man Race. And so um, he hands it to Ralphie and basically somewhat kind of ignore the women. Bridget kind of, you know, say something, you know, is it just for men? And he was like, no, it's for anybody who wants to join. At least said that. Why did you only hand it to the guy? You know, and he just basically seen that, hey, you know, I, I'm not trying to argue. I'm not trying to start no mess, you know, and he takes off. Bridget is like, why is it okay for him to not wear a shirt? You know, why is it that men could walk around and not wear a shirt? Now, Nelson is saying she always wants to do this mud um, race. And she was like, it's strong, it's powerful. Yeah, we should do it. Lisa don't want to do it. She's talking about we. Because Bridget, like, we all doing this. All of us, we all doing this. And she like, we? No. Bridget and Elise, they finally convinced themselves and say we're going to do it. Because Bridget is saying, what else do I have to do? You know, that's all I do is sit and eat and watch porn, sit and eat and porn, sit and eat and porn. So they both just saying, okay, we going to do it. So Bridget says she's going to go to the grocery store and get them like some protein bars, some you know, some stuff that's going to give them energy and pump them up to do this race. So she's at the grocery store and she's walking down the aisle. She sees some young stock boy, stock, I should say boy, but stock guy. 
and she walks, she kind of look at him, give him the eye a little bit and walk a little bit more. So then she turns the cart around and um, grab some trash, a box of trash bags off the shelf and stick it in her pants. Uh, but that's what she do. And then she approach him, you know, very aggressive, you know, with these little one liners. And then she hit him with the, you're more prettier than you know, the same line that Creepy Guy gave her. And she's just really, you know, the, the most beautiful goddamn eyes I ever seen, you know, and, and she's just really, she just, she's really flirting hard and, and it looks like they get ready to go in this back storage room. <laughs> Next scene, she's on top of him riding him and just going butt fucking crazy. Just talking crazy to him and everything. Oh my God, Bridget is crazy. How can they be having sex and people driving past in these little forklift things? So then she tell him, then she tell him to, to come for her. Come for me, you little bitch. And next thing you know, he come inside of her. And she like, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. It's too late. And then why you not using a condom? Come on, where's Now her and Tutu is at the thrift shop and she telling Tutu that she's finna do this mud race and you could tell Tutu ain't really hearing that. So she was like, well, you know, I gotta get in shape because I'm gonna do the trial for the NWA. And she was like, oh, come on, Brit. You know, not this bullshit again. She just, she like, she's just basically telling her, hey, you, you wasting your time doing this. You know, just let it go. So now they're in the fitting room and the fitting room is crazy. I didn't think people go to the Goodwill and try clothes on. Especially not on your burnt skin, but I don't know. It's about 10 women in there and they all naked. And she just basically telling Bridget, you need to start praying. You know, just just pray. And and Bridget, she's not listening. She's not having it. She don't want no part of that. So it's telling her she to pray to the Virgin Mary. She's basically Bridget is basically saying, oh, you know, Virgin Mary, mothers can't be virgins, and she was forced to have those babies, and somebody did something to her. You know, Bridget is is trying to relate it to her life. She's thinking that the Virgin Mary must have went through something like like she went through. And she says, well, I, you act like it's somebody over us, some bearded man over us, you know, watching us. Some old guy look like he's supposed to work there. He's sitting up looking down at everybody in the fitting room, jacking off. Ralphie is in the gym looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. He's getting his workout on. And some guy approached him and I'm so-and-so's friend. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, how you doing? They give each other hugs and everything. And they say, you know, it's nice to see, you know, another sober um, friend. So he tells Ralphie, you know, he's doing good. Now they in the locker room. The guy that, um, the other sober guy, he tells, you know, Ralphie sees that he's a priest and he's sort of telling him, you know, different things about the church. And, you know, Ralph is like, you know, yeah, that might be, that might be something I might do, you know, I might do it for my son. So now he's back at Nelson's house and he's telling her, we should start by going to church. This whole, he's gonna pull his heart out to her. You know, you, you make me feel good and you changed my life and you make me so happy. So after Ralphie tells Bridget, you know, he loved her. She tell him, you know, I got something to tell you. You know, when I was at the doctor's office with Larry, you know, I I called Bridget and she told me to get Larry vaccinated. And Ralph is pissed. So he's saying Bridget don't see him as an equal and he gon' he feel like he gonna make a decision. You know, Larry is his son just as he, as much as he is Bridget's son. So now he's at Tutu house and he wanna pick his son up. He's suit and tie ready. He says, I'm here to get my son. You know, he's my son too. And she was like, you know, you, you bad timing. We got plans, you know? And, and she said, well, you know, why you in the suit? And he was like, you know, I'm coming to get my son and I'm gonna take him to get baptized. 
And she basically brushed him off like, yeah, right, you know, whatever. And he's like, for real, I'm going to take my son and I'm going to get him baptized. So I guess she finally now believed him. So she was like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, let me go get him dressed. You know, and I'm going to get dressed too and we can take my car. Now Bridget is getting ready for the mud race. And she's trying to figure out what the hell she's going to stick down her pants to look like it's a fake penis. I'm just saying. Now they at the mud race. Men look like they was just, they been training all year for this doggone mud race. They amped and just pumped and, and ready. Crazy ready. So the dude, they see the guy that actually gave them the flyer and he's basically trying to talk them out of it. Basically, Nelson said, well, you know, one of the guys, you know, died from this last time. And he was like, and yeah, and he was really fit. So he look at, he's basically looking at Elise like, you know, maybe you shouldn't do it. And so, um, Bridget says something and, and, you know, it was like, suck my cock, you know, suck my dick or whatever. And, um, Elise turned to her and said, okay, Bridget, what's up with the bulge? And Bridget just basically say, you know, it gives me confidence. Ralphie is at the church. The pastor's calling him the up. baptism is getting ready to happen. Now it goes back to Bridget and they going up under this little, little thing. They got to crawl up under it, and they got vibe wires and stuff, and the guys is basically crawling all over them, trying to make it through, and bridging them is just basically, you know, they're amateurs. They don't know what they're doing. And Nelson, of course, she's amp, and she, she's beating both of them, and she's really into it, you know. They finally make it to the end of the race, the obstacle course, and it's this electrical gazebo thing that they gotta run through and these, they got little things hanging. And as you going through, you actually getting shocked. So quite naturally, every episode, Bridget gets into this, this character. So now she's this warrior lady and she's like, I could do it. So she takes off running. She's running. Next thing you know, they shock her. She, so she gets shocked by the doggone um, electric things and pass out. Guess who comes to save her? Good old happy ass Nelson. Picks her up like she Wonder Woman, put her draper across her back, and she's like, you know, I could do this. I'ma, you know, I'ma, I'ma save you. You know, we're gonna make it through. She got her on her shoulders and she make it through. She sit her down and say, I gotta go back for Elisa. So as they finishing, you know, they all happy that they finally made it, you know. I think they like the last people to make it across the finishing lines. So Bridget is looking for Larry and Tutu. They're not there. It's with the mud race and now Bridget is at Tutu's house to pick up Larry. And she asked the man, Joe, where, you know, where everybody at? And she, he was like, you know, they down at the diner. Oh, it's, it's Larry's baptism dinner. And Bridget, she's instantly pissed. Bridget's at the diner and she pissed. She beats on the window. But of course, she's keeping her cool in front of Larry. And so he tells her, how you gonna force my girlfriend to get Larry vaccinated behind my back? And of course, Bridget is saying, I didn't tell her to do it. Bridget, you did tell her to do it. She a snitch now. Now she's putting blame on him about his mother and everything. And, and she's telling him, you want a prize? Mm, I almost said the wrong word. She's like, you want a prize? You know, them, you're doing the stuff that you're supposed to do, Ralphie. That's just, Larry is your son. You're supposed to come to the doctor's office. You're supposed to tuck him in the bed at night. You're supposed to be helping me raise Larry. Not when it's, it's convenient for you. You know, you're supposed, this is your job. And he telling her, you know, I just want you to be happy. And of course, Bridget, like, I am happy. You know, everything's good over here. You know? And she want him to stop lying. They both lying to each other. 
hope it feels like Bridget is sitting on her high horse looking down at him, always judging him because of his past and the things that he's been through and the things that he's done. So that's basically how that ends. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment at the bottom. Thumbs up the video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.